Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about gluing objects to other objects. So when I talk about glue to, I'm actually talking about the glue to command or attribute inside of a component. This means when you take a component and you bring it in and put it into a model, it will automatically snap to a surface. Um, once it's snapped on the surface, it actually stays connected to that surface or attempts to stay connected to that surface as much as possible. It's not the sticky behavior of SketchUp where edges automatically connect together. That's not gluing. Um, that's just connectivity or I'm not really sure what the term is for it. We're talking specifically about creating component with the glue to check set. And we're talking about how to do that right now. So this is something that came up during one of our live streams recently. We we're talking about we were building something and, and putting screw heads onto it and multiple screw heads in this model. So we created it as a glue to component. I figured hey, it was good enough for a live stream might be good enough for a skill builder. So we're going to cover this. We've talked about glue to before a little bit here and there, um, but I really wanted to dive into the different options in glue to and see how to best set up something so that it glues to a surface. So I have these um, this imaginary detail of some beams put together. Uh, if you want to tell me what I did wrong with creating this model and why it's not real, you can leave that comment, but uh, fair warning, it's just a pretty looking thing to put things on as opposed to a bunch of just blank surfaces. So uh, don't take this as a real structural engineering detail, please. All right, disclaimer of over. So let's talk about this thing. So I have a rivet I wanna put in, right? So I'm just making something that looks like a, riveted together steel beam. So I'm going to put this on this plate. I'm going to put some rivets. All this is, is a dome. This is just a, if I go to view and I see my hidden geometry, it's a half circle follow me around a circle. And then that's it. I'm going to do a couple of these right here. So I'm going to grab all of it. I don't need that hidden geometry on. Uh, I'm going to use move to copy that maybe four times. Uh, cause we're gonna create a bunch of different glue to type components and we'll see the difference between how they work. Uh, just to keep them straight, let's go in here and we'll, we'll actually color them, uh, different colors. All right. So we got a white, uh, red, yellow, and blue. So let's take this white one and I'm gonna make it a component. So when the make component screen shows up, it asks you, so I'm going to call this rivet, uh, vertical because we're going to come to glue to right now and we're going to say vertical. So this one component I'm making, this rivet is going to only be created to snap to vertical surfaces. So here's the first thing that people get confused about. When I model this right now, it doesn't matter where I, what I tell it I want to snap to. It's going to snap to that when I place it it's going to place it by the point that I place using the set component axes. So when I hit set component axes, I get this gray box. See this gray box showing up right here? This gray box is going to be the plane that snaps in when this is placed. So this plane is going to be a vertical plane. So even though I'm modeling this laying down flat, when I put it in, it's going to look for a vertical plane that aligns with what is right now, this gray surface. I'm gonna switch underneath, I'm gonna hop under here. I'm going to go find the midpoint. So I'm going to come from one quadrant, one edge to another edge, bring it in the middle, find that snap point, place it right there. So what that does, that makes whenever I want to place one of these, I'll grab it out of my component browser. And as I bring it in, the center of that rivet will snap to a vertical surface. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now let's grab this next one. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to make it a component. I'm going to call this one rivet horizontal. And I'm going to say glue to horizontal. Again, set the component axis. Now, here's the big thing. See, even though I said horizontal, look at this snapping plane that I'm, I'm inputting right now. It's flat on the ground again. So again, don't get too confused by this. When you model your components and you go to, to place this, I would say the easiest thing to do is just lay it down flat on the ground. You're creating a door or a window, lay it down so the face is flat to the ground, and then it'll make it real easy to find the snapping point. Uh, one of the biggest problems I see people running into is they create these components and then they go to put it in and the window's laying on a side sticking out because they put the snapping plane flat on the ground on the bottom side of the window or something like that. 
lay it down flat. So this is how you're going to place it when I look straight down on it. And then it's going to make it a lot easier to put it in. I'm right, going to grab this one, make another component. And I'm going to call this rivet uh, angled. Was that what's called angled or sloped? Sloped. I'm going to go ahead and say glue to sloped surface. Set the component axis again. And again, I'm just going to hover here, pull that across, hover here, pull that across, snap in the middle point, click twice, create. And then the last one, the blue one's going to be our any component. So I'm going to grab it all, make component, rivet, any. And then any set component axes. So I know some people have said, you know, they create groups because they don't like having to go through the process of filling out you know, doing the paperwork for a component, basically. Got all these extra snaps and stuff like that. But the idea is it's supposed to save you time. So by doing that once here, I don't have to do it again when I place it later. It makes it quicker and easier. And this would be super true when I use these right here. So let's let's start with the, the white one. The white one, if I hover over, is our vertical rivet. So if I come over here on this plate and I click right here to place it, look at that. It's that simple. And I grab it, another one, drop it in there, come over here. Drop this in here. Oh, awesome. This is so easy. Look at that. Just so simple over here. All right. Now if I want to come place it on here, whoa. Okay. So something has, some things are happening. One is it's showing me vertical surface, but I'm also getting that no cursor. See that anti cursor right there. If I click and try to place it, it tells me cannot place it there. Same thing. If I go to a vertical surface like this, it looks like it's going to be correct. But if I click, it tells me it cannot place it there. For that, I'll have to come over here and find my horizontal rivet. And then I can grab those and I can place those on my horizontal surfaces. Likewise, if I come over here and try to place it here, oh, I get the anti symbol. And if I click, it says, no, I'm not going to do that. Same with my slope surface. All right, so let's move along. As you might, you're probably reading the tea leaves right now. I probably got this figured out. Sloped surface, guess which one I'm going to use there? That's right. So sloped is a little bit different because it lets you place on any sloped surface as long as it's not parallel. So if I want to put one right here, even though this is some other random uh, sloped value, it'll, rip, it'll snap on there because it's not on the red-blue plane or the red-green plane. So it's not on any of the flat surfaces. All right, so that's great. Then of course I have the any, right? So any comes in and any goes, I don't really care. Put me wherever you need me. So I click there, come drop one right here. I'll come take one, put one right here. Any will snap to any surface. So as I, as I move along here, come up here, it's gonna boop, angle over there. Super simple. So why would you not make everything any? Well, there's certain things you don't want to snap at an angle, right? So a door should always be vertical. So if I have a situation where I have a door and I'm, I'm going to put it in a wall and then maybe, I don't know, I have some surface that's angled close to where the door is supposed to be. I don't want to snap over there and snap in an angle. I always want it to place vertical. So it only is going to go in a vertical uh, situation. Uh, maybe I have a stairwell with railing or something that I create a com cutting component out of. I'm only want to snap that straight down. Uh, anything that's held down by gravity, right? So <laughs> furniture, cars, people, uh, you might want to make those snap to horizontal because they should always be on the ground facing up. Those are the kind of things you want to maybe put in to be snapped in a specific plane. Something like a screw head that I want to put on any surface, something like a rivet like this, where maybe this is, you know, I have metal sheathing over a domed surface and I want to snap it in a bunch. That's going to be really nice to have. Here's a cool thing too. If I take this, this one right here and I copy it, look what happens. It, it honors it's snapping. See how it's rolling over when I do that? So if I grab this guy right here, let's, let's take this one right here, and I go to move it, let's grab it from its middle point, option, bring it up here. Look what it does. Oh, that's weird because it's not a vertical surface. So if I take this one, grab it from the middle, option, I can slide, slide around onto another vertical surface. I grabbed it from a weird spot. I'm sorry, that was not, that was not the right spot to grab. Let's try it again. Option. All right, so now, Vertical surface, 
Oh, not snapping right over here though. But over here, yeah, that's great. So there you go. I know it's 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 a fruity it's a fruity colorful adventure here with our uh, Fruit Loops sponsored rivet section here, but uh, colorful. But you get the idea. This is something you want to think about if you use glue to glue is an extremely powerful tool if you're going to use components but you do want to be conscious of which plane you select so that wasn't actually a question that came up specifically we have i've seen a lot of questions about glue to people don't quite understand that plane like why would you use it why don't you always use any is probably the biggest question that i've seen um but uh that and <laughs> picking the right surface model your glue to item on the ground with the surface you want to snap flat to the ground. No matter what it is, door, window, uh, a person, whatever, the piece that's gonna get snapped, have it on the ground because that's the placement plane that's gonna get created when you set your placement axes. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.